All right, Nick, by all accounts, the Houston Texans seem committed to young quarterback Davis Mills. Uh, there was a lot of quarterbacks that came available this offseason. They didn't pounce on any of them. And now through sifting of everything, all of the moving and shaking, the only option that is of any note that seems to be left is Jimmy Garoppolo. And I do not think that the Texans are interested in him. So now we know the Texans are going to stick with Davis Mills. The question being, is this a good idea? Uh, are the Texans smart for doing this? Is it not such a great idea? Uh, that is the real question that needs to be answered. And we have a story and some stats uh, that will give us our answer. But before we dive into all of that, I want to ask the Texans fans. Uh, Davis Mills is your starting quarterback. What I want to know is how many touchdowns do you think he throws this season? Leave it in the comments below. How many touchdowns does Davis Mills have this season? All right, Nick, uh, you have the story here. Uh, what's going on with the Texans? Yeah, so ever since Baker Mayfield got traded from the Browns to the Panthers for a conditional draft pick, could be a fourth round, fifth round pick, depending on how it shakes out. There have been some rumors, you know, if a team like the Texans would make a move for Garoppolo, who is, like you said, still available. Uh, all reports are indicating, like you said, the Texans are not involved in trade for Garoppolo. ESPN's Jeremy Fowler said this, that it would be, quote, it would be sort of a surprise if the Houston Texans made a move to acquire uh, Jimmy G. And uh, longtime Houston football and NFL insiders, a legend, John McClain, went and said this. Uh, quote, first of all, he's not coming to Houston. They have no interest. Uh, talking about Jimmy Garoppolo. They are sold on Davis Mills from Stanford, at least being a starter going into the season. Uh, Coach Lovey Smith, offensive coordinator Pep Hamilton, and general manager Nick Casario, they're sold on Davis Mills' potential. Uh, the last five games last year, nine touchdowns, two interceptions, a 102.4 pass rating. So he's the guy. Jimmy G is not coming here. All right, Maya, so what do you think about uh, Davis Mills with the Texans and then, you know, sticking with him and riding out and really believing his potential? Well, I like it because by all accounts, we have seen Jimmy G and what his potential is. And to me, I don't know if you agree with this, but to me, Jimmy G is a guy who is, a, if he's on a good roster, he's good enough to get you where you need to go. He is not going to take a bad roster and take him to the promised land. you got to have a pretty good roster uh, for Jimmy G to get you there, but he can get you there. Don't get me wrong. He can get you there. Now, the thing is, the Texans do not have that great of a roster. It is not a roster that is set up for a player like Jimmy G uh, to succeed, I don't believe. So, what you do is you have a guy that had a little bit of success with that roster last year. I think you build with him and let the team grow. I think it's a much smarter move to stay with Davis Mills than it would be to go with Jimmy G because you have a pretty good idea of what you would get if you got Jimmy G. Yeah, and I think Davis Mills kind of fits what the Texans need to your point. And let's let's look at some numbers here. Let's compare Mills to Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields, and, and Zach Wilson. And the first set of stats I want to look at here is I want to talk about bad throw percentage and on-target percentage, you know, talking about quarterback accuracy. And you brought up rosters and how a guy, for example, Jimmy G, needs to have the right roster around him. If you have a, you know, a rebuilding roster, which the Texans are right now, especially on offense, you need your, your margin of error at the quarterback position is very small. You need to be accurate because otherwise there's going to be a lot of turnovers. You're not going to get a lot of separation at the wide receiver position. You're not going to get a lot of help from the running game potentially. So you need to be accurate and take advantage of any and all opportunities. That's what I love looking at these stats here that Davis Mills in terms of fewest bad throw, you know, lowest bad throw percentage and the most accurate highest on target percentage. He absolutely outclasses Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields, Zach Wilson. I mean, he is head and shoulders above those guys. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Uh, if you think about it, he was drafted so much lower than all three of these guys. Uh, it seems last year, well, if you think about it, he came into very similar situations uh, as Lawrence and Wilson. And even Fields, uh, yeah. really, as far as offensively, they all had pretty bad rosters. So you take all of these guys, throw them into the fire, and it seems like Mills came out ahead of everybody, which is pretty crazy considering uh, the circumstances he was in. You'd think either the number one overall pick or one of the top 10 guys uh, would have done much better than a guy like Mills. But hey, well, he did it. 
Yeah, well, it's not just his accuracy, right? So, because obviously accuracy, maybe you could fudge a little bit, right? Maybe it's a lot of short passes or something you're just very familiar with. Let's go on to his next stats here. And we got some kind of advanced analytics for you. We've got that AY slash A plus. That stands for adjusted passing yards per attempt index. That's what that plus means. Basically, it's it great, you know, how much you throw the football downfield, your average yards per attempt, and it weights where the uh, uh, advanced part is, it weights interceptions and touchdowns. So obviously if you just throw a million jump balls down the field and you throw a lot of picks, your score is going to be a lot lower. Look how much higher Davis Mills is, right? So he's being aggressive throwing the football down the field. And when you weight the touchdowns and interception ratio, he still is well above Trevor Lawrence, st still well above Justin Fields, still well above Zach Wilson. And his overall indexed rating, again, leaps like – absolutely our classes of 95 to, to the seventies. That's a huge gap. That's multiple standard deviations. That just shows exactly the difference in terms of, you know, how he plays on the field, Davis Mills and his potential compared to the top prospects in last year's quarterback draft. All right, Nick, it's time to get your internet privacy back today on every device you own in any country you want. Don't let anyone but you control your internet. NordVPN keeps you safe from prying eyes wherever you go online with their military-grade encryption. Is your favorite Netflix or streaming content blocked in the U.S.? You can simply connect to one of the many countries available with NordVPN and get the access you need. That's right, Maya. So right now, get our exclusive NordVPN deal here at nordvpn.com slash SMI. It's risk-free, risk-free now with Nord, NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee. Again, get that exclusive deal, nordvpn.com slash SMI.